Well, if you've never met Swiss Skydiver before, first of all, you better bring a peppermint or she won't, she won't be your friend immediately. If you bring a peppermint, she's gonna be real happy. You know, she's really easy to be around. She's a filly that you can, you, I, you could put a toddler in her stall and she would never touch him. I'm gonna wager she's every bit as good a broodmare as she was a racehorse because she's extremely intelligent and she, she's just a, a real kind soul to be around and loves the attention and and um, I'm sure she's gonna get a lot more. You know, I think what made her special as a racehorse was her just desire to win, her competitiveness. Uh, when you look at her 2020 campaign, it truly was remarkable. It's, it's, it's unusual in the world that we're living in now to see a, a horse run that many times, particularly that many different racetracks. She was an exceptional uh, racehorse, but just had that grit, that determination, that I think she's likely to pass on to her offspring as well. Her three-year-old season was magical. I mean, it seemed like everywhere we went was a new adventure. She wins at Gulfstream first, then she wins at Oaklawn. She goes to California and wins. Uh, comes back to Kentucky and runs a really respectable second in the bluegrass. And then, um, then obviously by the end of the season, winning the Alabama and also winning the Preakness with her were, were sky-high moments for, for me career-wise and couldn't have done it without a filly like Swiss God ever. Well, I don't think there's any question. The defining moment for Swiss Skydiver, the race that I think will be was, was historic, was her winning the Preakness. I mean, she's one of the only only one of the three fillies in the last hundred years to win the Preakness. It was you know one of those absolutely wow performances, jaw dropping, pretty historic, and, and pretty special day at the racetrack. Authentic on the outside, these two putting on a show. The Derby winner in the filly, Swiss Skydiver inside. Authentic outside, they're nose to nose all the way to the wire. I never second guess running against the boys at all. Um, you know, her speed figures look like she fit against just about anybody. I think I, I had maybe 700 text messages in my phone, which is, you know, look, uh, when you win, everybody texts you. When you lose, nobody does. She made it all happen. And look, if without her, none of it happens. Of course, we all remember Rachel Alexandra, you know, one of the all time greats of our industry. And, you know, she produced a grade one winner in a very limited number of foals. The other filly to win the Preakness in the last 100 years was Nellie Morse. And she became, a, she produced a champion in her own right. When you think of the historical context of uh, Swiss Skydiver winning the Preakness, and you say we're obviously outstanding racehorses, but obviously became very influential and important broodmares as well. Peter Callahan is one of the most special people I've ever worked for. He really understands the game, he gets it. I couldn't be happier for a guy like him to have her. I think it's made um, certainly his experience as a horse racing owner, and uh, but he hadn't had that magical horse like her, and it, it's just real special for him to have her. You try to take the, the journey with a horse like Swiss Skydiver and, and, and share it with people. When you've got a horse like her and people love her and, and have, haven't been able to actually go watch a race in person, then I made a decision that I was gonna share as much of it as I could. And, you know, I got a chance to bond with her really well. It's gonna be, it's gonna to be tough when they sell her because we love being around her. She's a um, really special filly. Just the fact that we've been been blessed to be around a horse like her, um, you know, they're few and far between. You really have to appreciate them when they come into your life. She is as sturdy as I've ever seen and may ever, ever will see. She's a throwback. Uh, she, she trained hard, she ran hard, she answered every bell, and she certainly should have the ability and the characteristics to continue that uh, with her offspring.